Ladies and gentlemen, have you ever wished to live in your favorite fictional verse? Various reports emerged of people that made it happen. These people are called reality shifters. They claim to be shifting into different universes from ours. Let's get into the matter. Toby Cube, you'll take it from here. Reality shifting is crazy. I can't lie. The material I have here is, is pretty damn bad what people been saying, okay? If you want to skip to certain parts, timestamps are in the description. Reality shifting is a practice where people go from this reality, from their current reality called CR, to a desired reality called DR. CR, current reality, DR, desired reality. And there are different methods to learn how to reality shift. So we got the Raven method here. And what better website to use than WikiHow, because on WikiHow everything is perfectly explained and nothing can go wrong. Okay, so how do we reality shift? Let's see. Step number one, enter another world while you stay comfy. Okay, so in a starfish position, right then, what's next? Create a magical space for yourself. Well, my last video was about witches. They, they can surely do this, right? Set up an inspiring environment that will make your imagination soar. Yeah, because I really have the facilities for this one. Right then. Play special sound effects to ignite your imagination. I let's go. Let's see. Perfect sound effect. Couldn't find anything better. Write your shifting script. Oh, okay. So now we're going into uh, deep waters. And yeah, don't worry about my sweating. It's insanely hot in here. I can't lie. I'm dripping. Take out a shifting journal or bring up a word doc and create a bio for yourself. I need to create a bio for myself? What is this, a job interview? Nah, hell nah. Count to 100 while reciting affirmations. Lying down, looking up, just reciting 100 affirmations. One, I am on my way to an adventure that will transform me. Yo, that just sounds like a jit music video at this point. You're lying down, looking up and counting and then say some lines? Yo, might as well turn this into a song. Visualize your DR or desired reality. Keep your eyes closed until you in your DR, I guess, and that's it. You you can now shift realities. You know what that sounds like? That sounds like a guidance to sleep for people who are sleep deprived or who have problems sleeping. So many people shift into different realities to meet their favorite movie character or to interact with fictional characters in general or people shift into the Victorian era or something. Uh, they're not gonna survive there. You, the life expectancy was about five months there. No way you survive this. Who's gonna win? A beanbag burrito or the immune system of a Victorian child? Let the games begin. I will say, real shifting is probably a coping mechanism for many people who are not satisfied with their current reality. I I would put myself on that discussion, <laughs> but I'm not trying to reality shift. You gotta work. You got to work to get to the point where you want to be. So yeah, I ain't, I, I ain't escaping. I'm here. I'm fully here. Now that we know how to how to reality shift and how it impacts people. Yeah, let's see the examples how it impacted people. Hold on tight, yeah? Put your seatbelt on. Even if you're sitting in your own chair or even if you're lying in bed, put your seatbelt on. It's gonna be a bumpy ride here. And the last thing is for me, it's easiest to shift when I'm fully awake. So I do that. That might not be the same for you, but it's just easier for me to shift when I'm fully awake because it helps me focusing on stuff. How does one shift fully awake? You're just standing there like transcending or what is going on? If this gets any hotter in here, I am going to shift different realities. How hot is it in this room? I'm sorry to I'm sorry to interrupt this video. Now we're getting to the people that actually they're living out fan fictions. And if you know anything about fan fictions, it's bad. It can get very bad. Next question. So this person shifted into the world of Death Note and they became the Death Note. I'm not gonna believe this, okay? There's not a reality out there where you are a Death Note. A living Death Note. No. So close, that is dreaming. Who are you gonna fool with this? Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters! Excuse me, excuse me. Um, are you and Professor Snape, like, together? Um, uh, no. Um, we're just friends. Yeah. <laughs> But I could have sworn you were holding hands with him. Everybody else told me you were. No, oh, well, who told you that? I said, really. <laughs> have you been telling the students that we're just friends? 
I am sick and tired of Harry Potter fans, okay? I loved Harry Potter growing up and seeing this, that's, that's a disgrace to our community. Professor Snape looks like a 50 year old retired mall Santa. What the fuck you mean you, you married to him? Ain't no way. My brother didn't shower for about 15 years. I, I, I don't even have words for this brother. They, you, you saw this, right? Let's wash our eyes with bleach together. Don't do this. Don't do this. I, I hope you understand humor. Don't wash your eyes with bleach, okay? I'm not responsible for anything that happens because of this video. Let's just say the anime community has their fair share of weird people. Um, unfortunately, it's like 90% of the people. Really sad day for us, I know. For us normal fans who were not trying to ship middle schoolers. But I guess, let's see what they have been experiencing while reality shifting into their favorite anime. Alright, part two of telling the story of how I shifted in and got engaged. Was old I don't want to continue. I, d I really don't want to continue. Let's let's stop it right here. Okay, so first this is part two. I don't know how many parts there are and I can't lie. I'm not going to watch them. I, I will not watch them. You can't force me to, okay? Even if you let me know in the comments, I will not watch it. But, you know, write something in the comments for the algorithm. <laughs> I heard it's great. These story times just feel like people, you know, remembering their dreams and then telling them to us. Running, I'm booking it. I'm not about to die. Um, and like, I'm running and I'm just, I'm trying to find a way out of this giant ass mansion. Meanwhile, I'm using my N, you know, that thing where you like spread your aura out to detect shit coming towards you. And I sense Silva coming towards me full fucking force. Dodge that fist to the face. I cannot stress how much fucking danger I was in, especially as soon as the fuck- Unfortunately for the non-anime fans who are somehow sticking around, hey there, I need to go into nerdy topics here, yeah? No fucking way you dodge this attack. You, you ain't dodging this guy's attack. This is a trained assassin family. No way your ass is up there dodging that shit. Ain't hey, now. No. That's how I know this, that this reality is fake and that's just a dream. That's how I know it. Sorry for nerding ab about this topic. So I start running for the hill leading down to the testing gate. Comment if you want part three. <laughs> no, I don't. No, I really don't. <laughs> I really don't. I really don't want a part three. I am dead inside already. I've heard two stories. I want to die. So apparently in the future, she's going to get engaged to a Zoldic in her reality shifting face. Anime fans, Harry Potter fans, you know who's coming next. MCU fans, they're not far off when it comes to uh, writing weird fan fictions and living out their dreams while reality shifting. People, let's all grab a glass of water and give me 10 seconds before we continue this, okay? Oh, it's 30 degrees in here, 30 degrees Celsius, 29.9. Alright, let's continue. So this person apparently has a relationship with Loki. People out here romanticizing these people as if they were not wanted by the government. And now, I, I'm really sorry for all the non-anime fans that need to endure what is coming up next. If you're not familiar with the anime My Hero Academia, let me break it down for you so don't, you don't need to click off the video. It's about a guy who gets some powers. It's a bit of an asshole woman. He, he eats a hair. I know it's, it, it doesn't sound good, but there's just this class class dynamic and there's also like heroes versus villains, it's very basic. The key thing is that that the main character and his friends, they're about 13 or 14 maximum. So yeah, they're kids. Keep that in mind for the videos we're gonna see. When are you gonna realize that I'm the one that you're looking for? It's, it's me. I'm the one that you're searching for. You doing all this soul searching for what? You wasting time! I forgot to explain what quirks are. Quirks are abilities you get at some point in your life in this anime. If I believe this person's profile, which I'm not too keen on, this person is 18, so that makes you so significantly older than the characters that this is weird and you should be in... JAIL! This person is trying really hard to get school children to fall for her. 
who is Bakugo, is the biggest rival of the main character. He is also 14 years old. Yeah, why should he be significant other? He shouldn't, because he is a child. Stop right there. He's also a massive dickhead in the anime, so I don't know what's going on here. Let's get back from all these weird people. I, I, I can't anymore. I need to leave this side. Let's stop with the weird stuff. Am I going on a hit list? Is this bad? Is this bad that I'm saying that this is just dreaming? I wouldn't even go as far as saying this is lucid dreaming. This just sounds like dreaming and you remember the dream. That ain't lucid dreaming. I'm, I'm definitely on a hit list. I am definitely on a hit list right now. This is just dreaming with extra steps. I'm not the one to stop you if you want to try to reality shift or if you really believe in that stuff. I'm not the one to, who tries to stop you, but look out for your mental health. Don't seek peace. In reality, that is not real. Don't do this, otherwise you're gonna get attached to things that are not real and yeah, your life will become more miserable. Anyway, I think that's it for this video and of course, as always, let's see a final clip that has nothing to do with the video. I heard pop smoke talking from heaven while I'm stroking, I'm <laughs> That's enough internet for today. <laughs> <laughs>